ARC addict, back addict like a crack addict. All right, so I'm gonna try to do it like this. Hopefully you guys can see good. Um, all right, so uh, don't mind me, I'm still a little, uh, I can't eat while I'm doing this video. All right, so let's see what I could do. Let's go at it. All right, so first thing you're gonna do, so I mean, I'm not gonna talk through this. You just guys, you'll see what, I'm, what I'll do your pieces everything you're gonna need right here I pretty loosen the screws all right that's my diaphragm it's not bad that's the old diaphragm Try to take it off without damaging it. Don't know when, you know, you never know. You know, I'm not that, I like to save stuff. All right, that bun and cheese is starting to really taste. Boy. Ah. Yeah, the sirens, welcome to my hood. All right, so it's the old diaphragm. Um, see? Oh yeah. By the way, this is a, this carburetor is a, 990 modified OBR, well, OBR modified 990 carb. So I'm expecting that the spring is cut. Um, I'll show you guys that. If it's not, then it'll be an easier one to fit. Um, I'm doing this for the first time also, so bear with me. All right, so that's the old, that's the old latch. That's the old regular latch, and this is the the new latch all right all right so we gotta take that out Take that screw off to release the latch. You're gonna swap out the rod. There's a rod that the actual screw is on. All right, so everything came out at once. All right, so this, see? This spring might be okay because it doesn't seem like it was cut, see it? So it might just be good. Either it was compressed and, well, let's see. <clears throat> All right, now let's get the rod. This is the old latch. Um, see the big difference? Old latch, new latch. Hold on, I'm trying to get everything. Old latch, new latch, see it? Oh, all right, let me try to hold it together. There you go. Old latch versus new one, see it? Okay, all right. What you're gonna need to do is get that screw out completely. Screw comes out completely. Um, oh. All right, just gotta put the jet back in. <laughs> All right, that you're not supposed to do. That, yeah, see how quiet I got just now? Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. So let me just make sure that goes back in.
Gotcha. Okay, sorry about that. Just had to make sure what I was doing. Sorry, I got quiet for a second. Just had to make sure everything was right. Okay. All right, so I'll put that and put the jet back in. <clears throat> All right, what you're gonna wanna do is that rod, you're gonna wanna switch that out to the new piece, okay, like so. You wanna get the rod back in, and I want it to be in that little groove. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to bear with me. Okay, there we go. All right, I should have put the spring back first, but yeah, like I said, first time doing this, so bear with me. I guess the spring is going to be a very difficult part to put in, <laughs> but it's okay. It's a very delicate spring, by the way. again I think I got it good. It's kind of tricky to do. I have to get quiet. Yeah, I get quiet when I, I gotta pay attention or I gotta concentrate. <laughs> All right. All right, remember, just get it in. You're not gonna snug it tight because you gotta actually check and test it. So just get it in there tight enough. You're not gonna torque it down or, you know, just get it in there. All right. Everything's moving, everything's working right. Okay, there we go. Now, what you do is the test. Uh, perfect, actually perfect, look. You guys see, see the top? That has to come flush. See that? Perfect. See that? Perfect. All right, good. That's, that part is actually done. All right, let me tighten that up. Now, don't go crazy. All right, everything is still good. Um, now comes the interesting part. open this up real quick sorry guys pardon me I'm trying to open it without damaging it to order another one from DDM <laughs> all right as you see you have it labeled top simple self explanatory what you want to do take off the safety pin or paper clip whatever Try to keep everything lined up. Everything must be lined up according. Do not try to, all right, this is just, this is the part where it's gonna get difficult. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna line this up, all right? Line this up like so, okay? Take your top, all right? put the screws on you're gonna thread them 
like you know at least two threads in so at least know that they catch right not to tighten them up just at least so you know that they caught okay sorry i'm hitting the camera with the All right, so now that they're caught, it's lined up, all right? What you wanna do is you pull this out. You pull this, pull it out from this side. Sorry, pull it out from this side. Keep everything together. that's it sorry that's it pull everything out tighten everything up and that's it everything tightens up and that's it um well before i actually tighten it up what i'm going to do all right uh, let me hold it tight for a lot of those that don't know you see that little hole right there yeah for those bashers, for those that bash in dirt and sand and so forth, that could, like, little dirt particles could seep through. Even when you tie this down, when you, you know, you lock it in, dirt particles could seep through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little piece of styrofoam on top of that. Um, they sell it, the Team Chase one from DDM, or you could get the RB Innovations where they have the, uh, in, um, they have it in the diaphragm intake or something like that. But I don't have that, and I do actually have the RB in, in um intake, but I I'm running the read the read case version two, so that doesn't fit. So what I'm actually gonna do is just you know, quick little diaphragm, uh, quick little styrofoam right here. Go across, push it down. That's it. That sounded so confusing. I don't think that was clear enough, but hopefully you guys get what I'm talking about. My camera girl's over there sleeping, chuckling. Got to find these scissors. All right, so I got the scissors. Got a little, just a little piece for where I need it. Let me see where I, where actually do I need it? Just a little piece over there. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off these screws. Um, turn that around. Try to. I uh, have to do it off camera real quick. everything else here okay now let me see what part which um, okay you guys can see let me be very careful take this top part off right here I uh, see that see all that little dirt and stuff I should actually did I should have did this before I actually put on the diaphragm but you see all that little dirt and stuff that could get in see that I should have actually did this before I should have cleaned this before, but I'm doing it now. Okay. 
Okay, so now that's clean. What I'm gonna do is cut a piece, put it right over. About there is good. Okay. Sorry guys, I had to get quiet for a second. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you guys are probably hearing in the background that's Gumble and Gumble cuts on that is on. Sorry. <laughs> uh, nothing else pretty on TV that I'd rather listen to right now or watch. All right, so with that, see that? I have that now filtered. Got that now covered. So that's actually good. Got my spiral for spiral frame spiral diaphragm installed so now you can do pump gas i actually run cam 2 but there's times that i can't get cam 2 so now i can run 93 no problem no headaches it's supposed to give me a nice little punch also a nice performance Not, nothing crazy but just something nice so that's also good to look forward to so all right and that is that sorry about the long silence the long pause i tend to get quiet when i'm working just so to focus more sorry about the camera angle all right and that is it got the little got everything working nice Nice, everything good. Nice, everything good. Alright, that's it. We out. RC attic, back attic, crack attic. Alright, put it back in. And see, good to go. Well worth it. I recommend it, man. It's definitely well worth it. Just for the simple fact that for a lot of us that we can't get Cam 2, that right there is perfect because it helps your engine. So, I'm out. I'm about to go finish the rest of my bun and cheese. <laughs>